Welcome back to Breast of Campus. What Rabbi Nachman has to say about faithful business transactions. It's called Masa'u Matan Be'emuna, right? Faithful business transactions. Faith, Rabbi Nachman explains, is a major component in business. Why is faith a major component in business? Because basically the faith here that's needed is to believe that my business transactions, if now they're conducted within the parameters of Torah law, are very, very precious. Besides this, the simple meaning that you're faithful, that people and you're honest, and people can trust you in your business transactions, Rabbi Nachman also teaches that Masaw Matan Bemuna means that it leads you to believe that there is something big happening in business transactions. Because you have basically in the Jewish world two categories of people. Those who spend their most of their time studying Torah and those who spend most of the time trying to earn an income, earning a, a, a living, right? And the people who are earning a living are mainly involved afterwards giving their tzedakah, their charity, to those who are learning Torah most of their lives or all their days, right? So those two types of people. And it happens that the people who are working and working and working, they begin to feel, where am I getting with my work? I feel like I'm getting absolutely nowhere. I want to come closer to Hashem. I want to study more Torah. I want to dove in better. I want to invest more in my spirituality. Here, here I am working, working, working. So when Nachman teaches, a lot of emunah is needed to believe in the power of business transactions. Because what happens specifically in business transactions happens almost nowhere else. He teaches that business transactions, Masao Matan Be'emuna, allows a person, like sleep, what's called the idea of sleep, connect the soul to the highest levels of wisdom, which are beyond the human capacity of comprehension. It's called in the Kabbalah, the Ora Panim, the light of the countenance. And when a person is faithful in his business dealings, that he, he tr truly tries to keep his word, right? This allows for the soul of that person to connect, because of his faithful attitude, to connect to the source of even wisdom. So the question is, what does it benefit him if he's not learning Torah anyways? What does it benefit him to reach the source? So the, 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 the Rabbi Nachman explains that since all the Jewish souls are connected, you have one root soul, where you can have in that root soul about 20, 30, 40, 50 Jewish people all over the world, scattered all over, they don't even know each other, but yet their souls are connected with the same root. One of them may be a Torah scholar who's learning all day. Another one may be a faithful businessman. The faithful businessman who's able through his business to connect to the source of the Torah by keeping the laws of business faith, faithful business transactions, which Rabbi Nachman teaches boils down to keeping his word, even if he decides in his heart that he's going to put a certain price on a certain item, but afterwards he wants to change his mind, he doesn't change his mind, he's willing to incur the loss in order to keep his word even in his heart. It's called V'dover Emet Bilvavo, person speaks truth in his heart, he always sticks to his honesty and, and his word in business transactions, right? So this businessman is connecting through that level of truth and faith in his business transactions. He's connecting to this aura panin. Now the second Torah scholar benefits from this. The businessman himself doesn't really tap into such high levels of wisdom because anyways, he's not involved so much in the pursuit of wisdom. He's more involved in uh, earning a living. But the soul of the Torah scholar who's connected to him does benefit from it. And then vice versa. When the Torah scholar's soul benefits from this light of the source of wisdom that is being tapped into through biz faithful, honest businessmen, so the Torah scholar's neshama is enhanced. And this enhancement also rubs off on, this, on the businessman unknowingly so he's more and more in tuned to having fear of heaven having imuna even though he's a businessman but he has a high level of fear of heaven 
and commitment to serving Hashem, even though his brain is not ne necessarily so much involved in the world of Torah. And this Rabbi Nachman explains his idea of faithful business transactions and its benefit. And this delight of elevating holiness to its root, which happens through business, takes place basically nowhere else. And that's why you find that many people in the world are, yes, involved in business as opposed to learning Torah. And you have those who are involved in Torah study and both are needed. Both are needed and no one is to be looked down upon because both are part of the picture.